Quiet on Set has shed a lot of light on the dark side of child actors' workplace. And with the news of what happened to Drake Bell at such a young age, even Josh Peck has spoken out to address his previous co-star's story. Let's check it out. Nancy Sullivan played the mother on the hit show, Drake and Josh. And after hearing the news of what Drake Bell went through while working with Brian Peck as a teenager, she showed her support for her fictional son. Nancy stated, They weren't my real kids, but I'll always love them. It broke my heart into a million pieces to hear just how much Drake was holding inside while we were working together. I was both devastated and proud seeing the man he's grown into sit down on camera and bravely tell his truth. Past abuse doesn't define us, and it has no right to rule our lives. I know that putting this burden down will free him in so many ways. I hope memories of the joy he had on our shows will someday greatly overshadow the pain. At the time of Brian Peck's trial, many celebrities had written letters to support claims of Brian's character, and many of them were surprised to find out that he was being charged with such allegations. According to Kate Taylor, she stated, we don't know exactly what these people were told about Brian's crimes before they wrote the letters, and we don't know which of these people, if any, were in the courtroom for Brian's sentencing. But these letters show how strong the support for Brian Peck was with people with industry connections. One of those celebrities to show support of Brian was James Marsden, who wrote, I assure you, what Brian has been through in the last year is the suffering of a hundred men, according to the documentary. Brian has learned his lesson and the earth would fall from the sky before Brian would even think about doing something like this again. I've known Brian for 14 years and never once did I ever see any sign of him being capable of something like this. I have lived at his house for months and shared hotel rooms with him and never once did he ever make me feel compromised or uncomfortable in any way. I don't know what it would take to have something like this occur, but whatever it is, it is extremely out of character for Brian. After finding out about the actions that Drake Bell had to endure, Devin Werkheiser and other Ned's declassified co-stars joked around about the situation. Come on. Daniel, I told you. <laughs> Daniel, we told you never to speak about that. Get back in your hole, Daniel, and give me your Sorry, we shouldn't joke about this. We really shouldn't. This is awful. Why are we doing this? Because this is about us. Listen, our set was not like that. Um, uh, and no, it's f***ing awful. The, the, the Drake Bell shit is a... Cr like, that's crazy to hear. I, I, that is yeah, fucked, I man. And that never came out, which is really wild. Really wild. I'll tell you who was talking about it. Boop. Boop. Ah. Uh. Okay. Oh, so y'all were in on it. Oh, God. Damn. Wow. I'm not talking about this anymore. No. no not no, talking about no, this anymore. No, no, no. Guys, we can't joke like this. Jesus. Guys, we're, we're, we're sometimes humor helps us move through things, yeah, you know? 100%. We need Missy on the pop. Drake Bell responded to Devin's comments by stating, oh, Ned's the classless. Moisa, this is wild. Laugh it up, guys. Laugh it up. Assume to give me your holes. Really? After seeing this response, Devin took to social media again to apologize for his bad jokes and targeting behavior. Devin stated, So sorry to Drake. Gutted, I hurt you. It turns out that Josh Peck and other co-stars are being called out by co-hosts on The View who believe that it should have been their duty to stand up for their friend and help during their time of need. Sonny Hostin stated, I often tell people, if you are a true ally and something is happening in a room, if you see it happening, a true ally says at that moment, don't do that, you shouldn't do that. They were kids, but I'm saying it applies kind of universally. They shouldn't have to be as adults bullied to speak out and support someone. Ryder Strong spoke out to say that they didn't know anything about Brian Peck and his behavior towards child stars. Ryder stated, didn't say that nothing had happened. So by the time we heard about this case and knew anything about it, it was always in the context of, I did this thing, I am guilty. I am going to take whatever punishment the government determines, but I'm a victim of jailbait. There was this hot guy, I just did this thing and he's underage. And we bought that storyline. I never heard about the other things because back then, you couldn't Google to find out what people were being charged with. So in retrospect, he was making a plea deal and admitting one thing, which is all he admitted to us, but it looks like he was being charged with a series of crimes, which we did not know. Even Dan Schneider recognized that the events that led to Drake Bell and Brian Peck's trial were some of the darkest of his career. And he remembered all of the notable people who showed up to support Brian at the time. Dan stated, a lot of them were pretty famous. Of course, Drake was devastated that that happened. And even more disappointing, 41 of those people wrote letters for Peck's character, letters praising him for who he was and asking for leniency. That was probably the darkest part of my career. And here's the kicker that I really don't get. After he Peck got out of prison and was a registered sex offender, he was hired on a Disney Channel show. I don't understand that. Will Friedel was another actor who showed support for Brian Peck, and he remembered the shame after finding out that they were wrong about him. 
Will stated, in telling me what happened and instantly spinning it to where it wasn't his fault, it was clearly the fault of his victim. My initial instinct because of the years I'd been working with him was, well, yeah, of course, it can't be you. Peck turned us against the victim to now we're on his team. That's the thing where to me, I look back at that as my shame. When there's an actual victim involved and I'm now on the abuser's side, that's the thing I can't get over. Alexa Nicholas addressed the Boy Meets World cast whose supporter Brian Peck during the trial, and she made sure to put them on the spot for supporting the wrong side. Alexa stated, You cared more about Hollywood, Pizzagate, and Boy Meets World than a child that was molested by someone you defended and never apologized to. Drake Bell later found out that quite a few of the supporters who wrote letters on Brian's behalf ended up working on Drake and Josh, and he still hasn't gotten an apology from them. Drake stated, I haven't gotten an apology or a sorry from anybody that had written letters or was involved in supporting him at all. I learned that later. I mean, there were multiple people that had supported him that went on to work on Drake and Josh. And I worked with these people every day and I thought they were my friends. They were people in positions of power that they were my bosses. They were directors. They were producers. It was a situation where I thought I was surrounded by, I thought I was safe. I thought, okay, I thought I got rid of the cancer has been carved out. We're better now. And I had no idea that for four years I was working alongside people who had supported him and probably in the back of their mind were thinking of me in a certain way and I thought they were my friends. Many fans felt as though Drake Bell's co-star, Josh Peck, was targeting Drake in a recent video, which was posted at the same time that the Quiet On Set documentary came out. If I haven't talked to you since 2023, take that as a sign that you don't exist to me anymore. Bug, you got sprayed with the rain. Bye. See you in that burp. It actually shocked quite a few diehard fans to find out that Josh and Drake were never as close as many people believed that they were after the show finished. You clearly do not like this guy. <laughs> um, I mean, I, I guess I could tell the story of my wedding. So I get married to my wife. And so we have like this small wedding. And the dirty little secret, I guess, was like, I knew that Drake and I didn't stay in touch for the 10 years since we had made the show. But no one needed to know that. Like, I was happy to just die with that secret that like, we made this thing that people really love, but maybe we weren't that close. So I didn't invite him to my wedding because I hadn't really talked to him in many, many years. Cut to, I'm getting married that night and I see these text messages from him, like cursing me out, coming oh, wow. for me. I'm like, on the night of my wedding. Oh. And I'm like- well, he, he was surprised he wasn't invited then? He's surprised, but then he takes to the internet and he starts writing these tweets that immediately like catch fire. I remember, here's some, I'm, I'm gonna give you guys the exclusive. Let's do it. After seeing Josh's video about avoiding certain people, many fans reacted by calling him out for not being supportive of Drake Bell in light of everything that had happened. It was actually Drake Bell himself who ended up coming to Josh's defense as he pointed out that Josh had actually reached out to him personally. Hey, what's up guys? I just want to uh, clear something up. Um, I've noticed a lot of, uh, comments on on some of josh's TikToks and some of his posts and i just want to let you guys know that um this is really uh you know processing this and going through this is a really emotional time and um a lot of it's very very difficult uh, so not everything is put out to the public um but i just want you guys to know that he has reached out to me and um it's, it's been very uh, sensitive, um, but he has reached out to, uh, uh, to talk with me and, and help me work through this and, and uh, has been really, really great. So I uh, just wanted to let you guys know that and to uh, take it a little easy on him. Josh did finally take to social media to show that he did watch this documentary and he had to take a few days to process what he had seen. Josh stated, I reached out to Drake Bell privately but want to give my support for the survivors who were brave enough to share their stories of emotional and physical abuse on Nickelodeon sets with the world. Children should be protected. Reliving this publicly is incredibly difficult, but I hope it can bring healing for the victims and their families, as well as necessary change to our industry. But when asked about why they decided to do this documentary and if they planned on interviewing more actors and actresses, one of the co-directors, Mary Robertson, mentioned that they'd definitely be interested in investigating more people in situations if people are open to hearing the truth. She stated, One of the central questions we were looking at was this power dynamic. Whether that's a child being put in a work environment, whether that's a parent trying to support their child, whether that's the child relating to a showrunner who has the power to make or break their career or their future as a star. 
We'd love to hear from more people who worked in this ecosystem and would like to share experiences. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more.